let's look at 3.4. So it says, Tiddy wants to organize her documents in files, right? Fair enough. She was informed that you can store files separately, basically by themselves, or in a filing box as shown in the picture below. Picture, um, there has a picture of the filing, so I don't know why it's so ugly, but basically there's four files in there. Okay. Um, and it's basically saying the whole filing box is that in width, right? Then it says a single file has a width of 1,8 centimeters. The width of the filing box is 34, um, 34, 3, 4, 5 millimeters. I'm converting it into centimeters before we even need to. We are going to have to do that, but I'm jumping the gun there. So then it says use the information above to answer the following questions. Determine the maximum number of filing boxes that could fit on one shelf, which is 162 centimeters wide. So basically what we have to do, remember when we're working with measurement, you have to work in the same unit of measurement for all the different sort of measurements that you are working with. So here, if this is in centimeters and that's in millimeters, problemo, we're going to have to correct it, right? So 3.4.1, we're going to say, well, 30, 3, 4, 5 millimeters equals 34.5 centimeters. Then we're going to say, okay, if we have 162, that's our space, let's divide it by how wide these filing boxes are and see how many filing boxes we can fit in. So 162 divided by 34,5 and it gives us 4.695, da, 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 da. right? Now, you can't have like 695 well, 0 0.695 of a box. You either have a box or you don't. So it's not going to fit five. So the max it can fit is four boxes, right? That's really important from like a logic perspective. You can't just cut the box. Well, I guess you could in reality, but it said um, number of filing boxes and it didn't say that we could adjust them at all. So it's four in total. Let's now look at the next question. It says, calculate the difference in the number of files that you can place on one shelf if she packs a shelf with single files, so basically no filing boxes, compared or rather than filing boxes. So we know that she can put four filing boxes. Let's just do this, right? So let's just write um, 3.4.2. So with filing boxes, right, she can put four in, but remember each of the filing boxes have four files. So in total, that's 16 files, right? If you can't do that math in your head, you can use your calculator, but you should be able to do it in your head, right? So that's 16 files with the filing, sorry, filing boxes. Okay. Then with single, single files, right? We're going to say 162. And how many, what is the width of a single file? It's 8,1. So we basically say, if we took that space and we divided by 8,1, how many different boxes, how many different sub files, individual files can we fit in to the space? Um, oh, and it's a lovely number, 20 files, okay? But the question said, right, so we can see that obviously more single files can fit in than filing boxes, um, than if we use filing boxes, but it said calculate the difference, right? So we're not done. The difference is 20 minus 16, which is four files. So you have to make sure that you finish the questions. Students do this and they get so happy and then they forget to put in the answer, right? Or finalize the answer. And that would then be the end. Okay. So make sure that you're reading carefully. Let's do our last two questions for this video. Give a possible reason why Tiddy would prefer the filing boxes. Well, filing boxes are just neater, right? If you've ever had a file and you put them into... Um, into shelves, they're always like falling on each other, like just not very stable, those oaks, right? So we would just say it's neater storage, right? Um, there's various sort of reasons you can put here, it's just kind of logic. So you can just say files stand up straight, neater storage, prevents dust on the documents in the files, because you, obviously you have the top bit that would sit on top of the file because the box basically is around the whole file. And then the dust is just on the box, not on the file. So if you're OCD like me, that's very attractive, right? But that is just a little sort of high level reasoning. Let's then go on to the next question. And our last question for this paper. Tiddy bought filing boxes to pack the top shelf completely. So she, she made the choice of using the filing boxes. She could not remember in which file she placed the document. Story of my life. She randomly chooses one of the files out of the filing boxes. Determine as a percentage to two decimal places. Okay, they said that again. 
the probability that the file she chooses will contain the document she is looking for. Okay, so we know if she uses the finding boxes on a shelf, right, on a given shelf, there are 16, right, 16 files. We know that because we calculated that previously, okay, and only one of them is going to have the file that she wants, I mean, the document that she wants. So there's only one way she can get what she wants, but there's 16 different ways or 16 different files she can choose from. Okay. It did ask as a percentage. So remember when we're doing percentages, we have to times by 100. So we put that in to our calculator. Make sure you type it in correctly. I have a history of being quite bad with typing in numbers. Right. So there's our percent. It's set to two decimal places. It only gives me two decimal places. So I am A, -O -A for away. And I can now move on to question four. Oh, my English is not very good. See you in the next one.